The Milky Way galaxy, a hundred thousand light years across, 100 billion stars, our home. But how do we know what it really looks like? The Milky Way is uh, very difficult to actually understand because we're inside of it. We can look at other galaxies. Uh, you can see beautiful spiral patterns in, other, in some other galaxies. Uh, we think the Milky Way looks like some of these other spiral galaxies, but we don't know because all we see is a band of stars across the sky, um, if you can get away from the city lights. When you see pictures of the Milky Way, they are usually just artistic renderings. What we actually know about the Milky Way is somewhat analogous to a 17th century European map of the New World. There are similarities, but a modern map is much more accurate. So how do we make a better map? And so one way you could think of trying to figure it out would be to measure distances to large numbers of stars all the way across the Milky Way. And then you could make a plot or a map or a plan view of what the Milky Way looked like because you'd know that some stars are very far away in this direction and some are closer. What I do is using radio light. We can actually measure very, very small shifts in angle as the Earth goes around the Sun and we see a star from a different angle. And from that, we can calculate the distance to the star. When we look at a star to measure its distance from the Earth, we first note other even more distant background stars in our line of sight. If we look at the star again six months later, our line of sight will have changed. From our perspective, even though the star has basically remained stationary, it will seem to us as if the star has shifted a tiny distance relative to the background stars. From this incredibly small perceived shift, astronomers can then measure a very, very tiny angle, exaggerated here for effect. Since we know the distance from the Earth to the Sun, we can then form an imaginary right triangle. And with trigonometry, we can calculate the distance to the star. And so we just pick the most massive young stars in the Milky Way. There are perhaps 500 or so that we can do in the Milky Way, and we're just measuring the distance to every one. The nice thing about them is that they do trace, they're very bright, and they sort of line up like little beads on a string and trace out the spiral arms in the Milky Way. And that's how you map the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs>